Balls Deep Gaming. Okay, this is your boy Hot Trash. Today we're going to be going through the Destiny Leviathan raid. And I like it. It's fun. Once you learn the mechanics, it's pretty easy. I know there's a lot of people out there giving up. There's two types of people. The people that have done it 20 times like me. And the people who just given up. But uh, there's a lot of videos up there. Out there, you know. Uh, but uh, this is my video. So this is what, how we do. And I forgot who I was playing here with here. But uh, they're a pretty good team. I think... We went through the whole thing in about 45, 50 minutes. Well, at least we got to Kalos. After that, everyone started breaking down, but we got through it. A lot of bullshit. The usual raid madness. But, uh, I like doing it. I'm, at this point, I'm doing it, uh, every week when it resets. It was all my three characters. And uh, I've been helping people do it, but it's kind of a waste of time. Yeah. So it's best. I hate doing it, but it's best if you look at some videos to learn at least what you're going to do. Mm. I, I forgot which one we start off with on here, I think. I think it's the Gauntlets. Could be the dogs, I don't know. But, uh, when you get here, the first thing you're gonna do is open up the door to the first trial. And the trial changes, it rotates every week. So, one day you may start with dogs, the next day you may, or the next week you may start with, uh, um, wantlets and so on. Uh, right now we stopped at Axis and as you saw there there's a hologram there and it had dogs so two guys sometimes three um, go to the dog part of the map and they kill a mini boss over there and then they bring they bring the uh, the staff from that area and then they set it there. You need three staffs from each area to open a door. And while that's happening, you gotta defend not only yourself, but uh, that area. Because uh, there's uh, the Centurions, they're the ones with the feather boa around their neck. Those guys come out and take the staff away. You gotta restart. Right now, we don't got a staff on there, they're getting it. And uh, we're just clearing ads. I'm using the Skyburner's Oath for this part just because it goes through their annoying shields. It does a little bit more damage to it. No idea. Oh, I'm using my Warlock, I see. I'm, I use all three classes, but like I said, I use. I do the raid for all three characters. And, pretty fun. You see, they got the uh, dog staff. I think they got two steps. Holy shit. Okay, these guys are good. Uh, I usually defend. I really don't like going out there. It's pretty boring. Getting this thing. Yeah, they got two. Two at a time. So, they got the dog. And possibly Chalice. And now they need the Sun. Because we are an Axis. The four symbols. So yeah, we need sun. And you want to use a curtain call for this area. Curtain call, uh, primary auto rifle with a lot of bullets, and sweet business. Ghost Primus, Origin Story. Those right there, the Centurions, are tough. Bastards. 
And those bubbles are your scion bubbles or counselors. Uh, you gotta punch them because as long as they're there, they'll protect a couple of the centurions with uh, immune shields. And they'll just run up and grab the damn staff and you know, start over. Get a healing rift, I don't know why I didn't put it up. See, that's what the curtain call does. It damages them. Once you get all three, like we did there. Get a little reward there. You get some keys, too, for the uh, underbelly of the ship. I think we, we go through some of those. We get them. And if you go through the underbelly, you could skip uh, the staff part. Grabbing the staff parts and you just... Uh, basically sneak your way into each trial section or you gain entry through a back way and you don't have to do that that uh, the staff collection to open the door but you could do it either way I just do whatever the team wants to do they want to they want cheese or or go through the underbelly or directly through through the door via staffs. I'll do whatever they want to do. I just want to get this shit done. Or not, really. not really out of the way. I enjoy doing it. Oh, we're doing guantlets. Okay. Now here I can do everything but run. I'm I'm just getting used to running. Running with the uh, warlock isn't that hard. It's actually cool because you can glide over all the all the pits. Now, there's tons of ways of doing this. These guys wanted to uh, rotate. Uh, I really don't like rotating, but whenever we rotate, I always tell them, "Well, if we're gonna rotate, I take the top." Yeah. I have no idea. I think as a top, I was shooting bottom, and whoever was on the bottom hitting the scions was shooting the top arrow. So yeah, you gotta stand on all four symbols to activate the trial. This is Gauntlets, and once you everybody stands on on their platform, then the ads start coming out. You can get a bunch of little scions and. I forgot what those guys are called. And then, uh, and then, uh, then you get a centurion. It's important that you kill that bastard with heavy or whatever. I believe I'm taking care of, uh, axes and cup. Now, when you're doing this, stick to the back like I am and use a scout rifle because they're. Their range is shit, so if you stay long range, you can just uh, take care of it quick. Now, it begins at uh, Cup and Dogs, I believe. So right now, I'm on Cups, because this is where it begins. And what it, they're going to... Yeah, I'm top. I'm shooting... No, no, I'm shooting bottom. I'm shooting bottom. Now, the reason I'm shooting bottom while I'm up there in the pillar is because whoever's on the bottom can see the top two arrows from long distance if he was shooting bottom he might have a problem shooting them because he's lagging behind because once those arrows turn green uh, he's got to hit a scion that appears under there and another thing the guy running through the gauntlet back there behind that uh, shield he's calling out like right there he called top so we're not shooting top whatever he calls out we don't shoot so I'm shooting bottom and the other guy's shooting in the middle. Let's see what he calls out this time. Oh, we did it. It's just they call out four times and then they run in there, turn in their balls, and then uh, 
it's a rinse and repeat process so uh, once they do that pillars go down ads come out kill your centurion get out of your pillar wait for the call outs rotate this is the rotating method not my favorite but I'll do whatever it takes I, I like I said I've done this raid like 20 times already and uh, I like doing it probably do it a hundred times before I uh, give up on it and uh, let's see put better shit on it if you want and you see that's a centurion he's done once we clear the ads you go to cups or dogs wherever your designated area is and right there they called middle so he shot top I shot bottom the middle stayed clear then he hits the scion then this guy calls out again and you got to be on the pillar to activate uh, the emblem there so if I'm not on the pillar he can't run through it and it'll cause a wipe so you got to be on there and then you see that white light it means it's ready to go called middle again so he shot top I shot bottom he goes hits his scion I come over here and jump on the pillar and then repeat called middle again I shot bottom other guy shot top hits the scion I jump on the pillar activate the pillar the guy can see uh, which uh, which thing is lit up I believe that is the fourth call out there so we're set now we got one more to go it's three three phases the third phase we all run like I said um, at the time when I recorded this I wasn't a runner um, that's the only job I haven't learned running here and I'm getting better at it so I believe I can run I just don't like doing it it's not my cup of tea but I will do it and I have learned it yeah uh, you, you want to try everything out even if you suck just try it a little bit just say I'll try it once or twice or five times however many times they let you before you get pissed just work on your game uh, I used to take the uh, the easy road all the time do what required less responsibility but now I do everything because I got bored and sometimes you don't have the people that you need to do what has to be done so you gotta step up you think you're a good player moderately good you've been a bad player you can always get good it's practice and patience I mean I used to come into this game with bad players and I wouldn't give a fuck I just practice my my game and I knew we weren't going to do it, but I knew I was going to at least get some experience. That way, when I played with better players, I could hold my own. And in this case, I'm playing with some really good players, because we do everything quick. Not sure what the total time on this is, but uh, I'll check it. 16 minutes. Yeah, we did this about 13 minutes, 14 minutes. So that's not bad. Now we're gonna run because we got all the arrow callouts correct. We didn't get any wrong ones. We didn't fuck up at all. Only three of them need to make it. So it's no big deal. Another thing is, I usually let the runners, the designated runners. I uh, get the orb first. Right there. Right. Jump. It gets harder and harder. You see, I fucked up right there. Try to go like a fluid motion all the way through. I didn't get an orb there. Yeah, so I'm about to blow up. 
You gotta recharge that orb by grabbing those orbs in there. Yeah, boom. That's where I die. So it's up to them now. Another thing is, if you do make the, uh, the run, when you get in the middle, revive somebody's uh, orb, you get more time. You see they're reviving, they got more time. And boom! We did it. Once you see that little key pop off or whatever, you're done. We have done it. I don't know what key I got there. But I mean we did this in the first run, I think we do them all in the first run. Got a ghost primus there, that's what you want. It's really, really good. I love it. 44 rounds. It'll, it'll kill ads. I believe that's an elevator. I think it takes us down into the belly. The under part of the level.